Alrighty, so today we're going to be unpacking and reviewing the Moon Animator right up here. Now, I've had this thing for quite a while, but I've never really used it because I've always thought that the animation editor right in the Avatar tab was much better. It was way simpler, it was easy to understand, but I've been learning it. I've been learning the Moon Animator a little more recently, and I've just realized how like amazing it can be but even in its pros it has its cons so we're going to be going over those today now when i was still using the animation editor it was as simple as adding in a new rig going to the animation editor and clicking on this rig you can name it you got all the keyframes and that was pretty much all you could do now i'm beginning to see how just how amazing the moon animator can be so I have five points that we're going to go over. The first one is how beginner friendly is it? The second one is how easy is it to learn? The third one is is this better than the animation editor? And four, would I use this? And the fifth one will be the final results at the end. So I'm going to open this up real quick. So when I first opened this up this morning, I realized what do I do? I, you know, I can't click on my guy. There's nothing here. So when I can't really see what I have to do, it does kind of take away that beginner friendliness about it. Like say I just started Roblox Studio. I pulled out the moon animator that I just got because I heard one of my friends talking about it. They say, wow, this is really good. I want to try this. So they recommend it to you. And now you're like, okay, what do I do with this? The animation editor, I just click on my guy, but I can't do that. Well, what you have to do is you gotta go into file and click new animation. You can name this whatever you want. So, I'm just gonna name this tutorial for the sake of the tutorial. Then, uh, what you have to do to actually get your guy in here, because as you notice, you still can't click on your guy, is you have to go into item, add item, click on your rig right here. It should pop up right here and click OK. So, if you don't know what you're doing when you first open it up, it's not very beginner friendly. Now, that is a thing that a lot of people could struggle with. Another thing though is that's going to prompt them to pro possibly look up a tutorial. So, you can find great tutorials out there on this. Another thing that's not very beginner friendly is just a lot of the options that uh, they get kind of complicated sometimes. but. That's why this is a professional animating plugin. Now I'm not criticizing this plugin, I'm just putting my own opinion out there on it. So as you can see, you, yeah, you can scale it however big you'd like it to be, however long you'd like it to be, in case you like to, and then, so there are all these different things that you can do. Now that, it's definitely great because in the animation editor, there's only so much you can do. There's so little you can do, in fact. it's It gets kind of boring, even. So, with the Moon Animator, it kind of makes it great. Because there are cameras you can add. There are uh, subtitles and vignettes you can add. There are a thing called a ghost rig, which is basically like an onion skin, more commonly uh, referred to. So, now let's get into how easy is it to learn. Now... It is semi-easy to get into and to learn because this morning I picked it up in about 20-30 minutes. So you can move this wherever you'd want your keyframe to be. You can just click on your guy. Another thing I really like is the movement. Just how easy it is and just how nice it really is. You can move your guy in any rotation. It's got the old Roblox Studio um, rotation and scale and move little icon things I guess you could say you move this and the keyframes automatically pop up wherever you want them to I know it does that with the animation editor too but it just feels better and the ghost rig it tells you where your last keyframe was so if I were to move this as you can see that ghost rig it's right where this guy was standing right before and but now I moved him so he's not in that position anymore. It's just to track easier animations like this and make them smoother if you'd like to. Now you can click on this and go over to here. 
and you can just you know kind of just rotate it and do whatever you'd like and it just it's a nice animation editor i really like it and it's definitely kind of easy to learn but can be complicated in its own ways now the third one is is this better than the animation editor the first thing i'm going to say is yes the benefits are definitely much higher than they would be with the animation editor i mean this has cameras and subtitles and so many other things you can do than just animating as well and even the animation it, it it's nice so that is definitely a good thing about it and i would definitely uh prefer this over the animation editor and that kind of answers my fourth point which is would i use this i would definitely use this this plugin it's very good for animating lots of people use it and it it seems very professional now to actually walk through the things about it you can even change the theme of the animation editor so if you don't like this orange and black theme you can kind of go to like an energy theme this one looks kind of weird you can go to the blonde or wheat just something cool I'd recommend whatever you'd like to I'm just gonna stick with the default for now because it's easy to see with the effects you got different vignettes you can add and toggle them it kinda adds a nice like shadow around your screen now the letterboxing that just does this so you can put subtitles on the top and bottom and you can toggle these on and off whenever you'd like to making them very easy to use you can add subtitles wherever you'd like to I don't really know how that works just yet but I will get into that now there are cameras you can add once again I've just started using this this morning so I'm not going to be a professional at it just yet but you can add cameras and you can change the rotations and make different cutscenes with them now for the timeline you can scale the timeline as much as you'd like to you can go to the next frame just really easily it's even got its own key binds just for different things like this is the numpad 6 so if I press 6 as you can see it's going across the time frame just like that and that is very cool the track you can add things like a wiggler or a looper which again I don't know what these are but I'd love to find out they are with the funny names and they probably are very useful now for the items you can import things to your rig such as preset animations like walking animations which are very useful and very cool if you'd like to just add something like that they've got climbing animations they've got idle animations they've got jumping animations they've got literally any kind of animation including emotes which if you haven't watched my how to make your custom emotes video yet you can go ahead and do that by clicking on this thing right up here and then yeah so you can just import these use the button of that tutorial to make your own emotes if you'd like to and that's just very cool to have preset animations there another thing you can find here are those ghost rigs also known as the onion skins you can toggle them on and off you can also clear them if you'd like to you can move around your cameras you can export your animations and uh, the moon animator is very advanced as you can save these animations actually onto your computer if you'd like to in case you made like a really good animation and you want to show it off for the animation settings you can change the frame rate so if you wanted to have like a super smooth animation where you had a keyframe on each one of these you want to do 120 frames per second every second then it'd go quite fast and now you can also change the action priority you can change this to movement idle core whatever you're making with it you can do that and then that gets us to the file so you can make new animations you can open up old animations just in case this got X'd out and you want to open up an animation again you can save your things and then close the moon animator you can hide the UI in case you're using like a cutscene or something in order to get it back you just have to open up the moon animator again you can even get their info and probably tutorials at the moon animator 
whatever their company or business is that you can use. Yeah, so this is my honest review of the Moon Animator. I must confess that it looks kind of blocky. The UI, it does. But I like how it's kind of simple like that. It makes it kind of somehow easier to understand. Another thing that I like is it's complicated, but it's not too complicated. Like, it's easy to figure out, but it can be complicated when you don't know how to do it. So that's one con to it. But pros are definitely cameras, subtitles, and all these effects, options, like the theme that you can change if you want a custom theme, like, is you can just do edit theme. And this, you can make a custom theme to your liking. Like, you can change this anywhere you want and make your own type of theme. And that is definitely a pro in case you want a custom one. Anything you'd want to do with like different plugins and the animation editor, you can basically just do all in one with this moon animator. And that's one thing I love about it. So um, I'm going to give it probably a 5 out of 10 for the beginner friendly level because it's fairly easy to figure out. It's kind of complicated at first when you first open it and you don't know what you have to do. The second one for how easy it is to learn, I give it about a 7.5 out of 10, I would say, because I was messing around with this for 20, 30 minutes, and I was able to find out how to do a lot of stuff inside of this. Now, is this better than the animation editor? I'd give that a definite yes, and would I use this? An absolute yes. I would definitely use this. And so the final results will be a 12.5 on the scale, and a definite yes to using this. If you guys liked my review and like to maybe see more, please leave a suggestion in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. And also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. I'll see you later.